My name's Kyle and this is a sample lesson on coding and in today's lesson we're going to be covering variables and data types. So our lesson objectives today are first to learn what is a variable, then we're going to write some Python code to create variables of our own, and then we're going to try and learn the different data types that we can use in Python. And then hopefully we'll be able to try and understand when to use the different data types in Python. So first things first, what is a variable? And in my mind, I like to think of a variable as a bit like a box. Now I have a box here and this is going to be our variable. So there are two things we need for a variable. The first thing we need is a label on the front of it. And we call this label the name of the variable. And inside the variable, we want to put some data or stuff. It's as simple as that. A variable is a box with a name and some data inside of it. So if we do a quick example over here, let's create a variable and we're going to give it the name. What name should we give it? Let's give it number. And inside of this variable, what number should we put in here? I'm going to put the number 31 because it's my favorite number. And that would just be a variable called number with the value of 31 inside of it. So how do we create variables in Python? Well, thankfully, it's very easy. In Python, we just write down the name of the variable we want to make. We put an equal sign, and then we put the data that we want to put inside our variable. So in this example here, it would be the number, which is the name of the variable, an equal sign, and the number 31, which is the data we want to store inside of number. So now we know how to create variables. How do we look inside of our variables when we're writing code so that we know what they're equal to and what data is inside of them? So how do we find what's inside? And there's a nice command in Python called print. Now what print will do is we put in next to print in brackets the name of a variable, so in this case, number, close the bracket, and this will print out the value of number or the data that's inside of number. So if we hop over to some code real quick and we have a look, we can say number is equal to 31 and we hit enter. And we now know that Python has seen that and created a variable for us. And we can double check that our variable exists and what's inside of it by printing off our variable called number. And we can see we get 31. Now what we can also do is say we don't like the number 31 anymore and we wanna change what's inside of our variable. We can just put another value in there instead. So we call the same variable we've created before and we change it to four. So now our variables data has been changed to four and we can check that that's been done properly by printing off number again and we can see that it's now four. So now we know that we can create variables and they can hold this data. What kind of data can we put inside of our variables? So what can we store in our box? And there's four data types in Python. The first one we saw before is integers. Integers are just whole numbers. So if I wanted a variable which stored the value of my age, I would say my age is equal to 24. And that would create a variable of the type integer. In our second version here, we have float, which is short for floating point number. And a floating point number is another word for a decimal number. It's a computing word for a decimal number. So if I wanted to store, say, my height in meters, well, my height in meters is 1.77. So decimal point, this would be a float type. Third example, we have strings. Now, strings is another computing word, and it means text or words and sentences. So if we wanted to store, say, my name, we would do so like this. Now, 
in order to tell Python that something is a string, we have to use these quotation marks at the beginning and end of our string. And this just tells Python, this is a string. I just want to write some text in here. And in our last example, we have a Boolean. Now, a Boolean is something that is just true or false. That means it is or it isn't, yes or no. Something that has two possible values and only two possible values. So how about a variable that tells you whether I am friendly? Now, I think I'm a pretty friendly person, so I'm going to set this to true. And it's as simple as that. There is one thing we need to remember when using Booleans, and that is they must always start in a capital letter. And that's it. So now we know the four different data types that we can use in Python. Let's have a look at some examples and let's, let's try and figure out together what data types are these variables. So this first one here, we have, let's break it down, a name of x and the data stored in it is six. Now we know that this is a whole number, obviously, which means that the variable x is an integer. Okay, let's look at the second example. So we have a variable here that's called has hair and it's equal to true. So that means that the variable type of has hair is a Boolean. However, can you see my mistake? I did not use a capital letter. So don't forget that because if this was real code, it would have errored and I wouldn't have been happy. Our third example, we have a variable named width and it has a value of 0 0.8. Obviously there's a decimal point, which means that this is a float because it's a floating point number. And in our last example, we have a variable called num and it's equal to 12.2. Now this is a bit of a tricky question. So although it's got a float inside of it, it's actually a string. And the reason it's a string is because it has these quote marks. A string is anything inside double quotes. Even if the thing inside those quotes is a number or a decimal point, or the word true, if it has quotes, it is a string. Okay, next let's have a quick look at what data type should we use for these variables. So let's go through the first one. I want to store how many eggs are in my fridge. Now, I don't know about you, but I only have a whole number amount of eggs in my fridge. So I think that this should be an integer because you can't have half an egg. The second example, we want to know, we want a variable to tell us whether a light is on or off. Well, as you can see here, we have two possible options, which means we should be using a Boolean because on is like true and off is like false. Example number three, we want a variable that stores the output of a division for us. Now, this could be an integer. So if we did, for example, six divided by three, it would be two, which would be an integer. However, we don't know what we're going to be dividing by. So because there are cases, for example, one divided by two, where we end up with a decimal number, we want to make sure that the data type of this is a float so that we can make sure that we it works for both cases. And the last one, we want to store the title of a TV show. And title kind of gives it away. It's going to be some sort of text. So we are going to store it as a string. OK, just to quickly go back to our objectives to recap, we learned today what a variable is. It's a bit like a box and it has a name and some data inside of it. We wrote Python code to create variables, which was just by using name equal to the data we want to put inside of it. We learned the different types of data that we can use in Python, which is integers, float, string, 
and Boolean. And we try to understand when to use these different data types. So we use an integer for something that can only be a whole number. We use float for when things can be decimal numbers. And we use strings for any text we want to store. And Boolean when it only has two possible values.